just over 50 movies have the distinction of earning $1 billion at the box office, a pretty small number considering the vast number of films in existence. And while it's no surprise that highly anticipated blockbuster films often cross that threshold, box office performances can still have some surprises. Some movies have come agonizingly close to hitting the $1 billion milestone without quite making it, an impressive feat on its own. From comedies to fantasy to critically acclaimed biopics, the best of them prove that no matter the genre, audiences will turn out in droves for a good story to help propel a movie to success. Given the success of the Lord of the Rings trilogy before it, and Peter Jackson's proven skill at bringing Tolkien's world of Middle-earth to life, it's no surprise that the film trilogy adapting The Hobbit was also a box office hit, with the second film coming just shy of earning $1 billion. It was later outdone by its sequel, but it too did not hit the $1 billion mark. Marvel films often enjoy massive success at the box office, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is no exception. The movie is a fascinating and entertaining exploration of Marvel's multiverse, and has a darker tone than other films in the franchise, leaning more towards horror than superhero, with Scarlet Witch's powers and brutality on display, making for some of the film's most disturbing moments. The final film adaptation of the Harry Potter series was split into two parts, with the first hitting theaters in 2010. The decision to split the final Harry Potter book into two films meant both could stay faithful to the source material and the first Deathly Hallows proved it was the right call. The series had grown increasingly darker, with this being the bleakest, most harrowing yet. At just under $977 million, it was the third highest grossing film of 2010, and it would later be outdone by part two, which earned over $1.3 billion. The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, was a fantastic adaptation of its source material, with exciting action sequences and impressive special effects. Some even consider it to be the best of the three films. The movie set the stage for the final film of the trilogy, Return of the King, in more ways than one. And although Two Towers came up short of $1 billion, Return of the King surpassed it, ultimately earning over $1.1 billion. Oppenheimer is an epic film which has been praised as one of Christopher Nolan's best, and one of the most successful and critically acclaimed films of 2023. The star-studded cast all deliver fantastic performances, most notably Killian Murphy in the role of Oppenheimer himself, from his ascent as a brilliant scientist to his downfall. Despite its acclaim, the movie came up short of making $1 billion, bringing in a total of $957 million at the box office, 